Hey guys, I'm Ambie with Motor City Nerds, and I thought this was a joke, because I, I, I was like, there's no way that they're calling it this, but okay, you guys know how they did the, we're gonna react to the Sailor Moon Cosmos trailer, which I think exists, we're about to find out together, if this isn't uploaded, then you know it doesn't exist, Hobart, please, I've watched all of Sailor Moon, both the original when it came out, and what we had in the States when I was younger, and I love Sailor Moon, I do, I love Sailor Moon, I stand by that's the hero that we need right now, um, if you haven't watched rewatched the new dub on Hulu, I highly suggest it. This is the confusing part. The they redid Crystal, and if you've been on the channel, you know that I don't think Crystal's that good. But you guys know me, and I'll get going and I'll get talking. So we'll get into how I feel about Crystal and everything else after we watch the trailer. Hobart, make decisions. Make decision. Oh my god say this really quick the confusing part is not only do you have some of them on hulu some of them on netflix i don't know who has the rights to what but so they have the original anime because like i said you i don't understand wouldn't you want don't you want new people coming to this ip because sailor moon is so big that it's like not just people who love anime love sailor moon and i've had tons of people that just knew sailor moon or dragon ball that went back to go watch the original one when they redubbed it and it's great it's on hulu i highly suggest it but they also have crystal and then people were mad at crystal when it came out which is closer to the manga and i like i said we'll get into that after i react to this trailer but and i think it's stupid that you're calling it this cosmos but anyway um the confusing part is you now it's all on net well the original is still on hulu but the uh crystal which is the redone closer to the source material series is on netflix so you have to watch seasons one two and three of crystal and then they have a movie in two parts which is sailor moon eternal part one and sailor moon eternal part two which that's fine but it's it's if you want new people coming to this or old viewers of the original coming over to watch crystal it's a little hard for them to understand when you're going season, 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 movie, movie, season, movie, movie. And then I do, I wanted to, I, I don't know. I feel like I understood why they did season four in a movie and with the Pegasus stuff, I, I do, I, I see why they did that and to move it along, but because Crystal does move, it moves, but mm, sometimes not in a good way. And some, it lags where it shouldn't. Anyway, we'll get into that in a minute, but I think that the star lights and the sailor, I think sailor stars deserved to be full seasons. I do. I think it deserved to be full seasons and maybe I'll be wrong. I didn't hate eternal or anything. I liked it. I did a, I did videos on it. You can check those out, but yeah, let's check this trailer out. Are we recording? Oh, okay. So I think this is real. So it, it seems like it's real and we're, we're, we're about to find out. Let's okay. Let's. もしも私が生が戦士でなかったなら、こうして仲間たちに手を差し伸べてもらうことも、出会うことさえなかったのかしら。わかるの。今までの戦いとは違う。いつも全て私のせい。私とロベのメンバー。だ、だ、だ、だ
And then they were like, no, this is huge. You have to keep going. And so she was like, shit. And that's why season two is just filler. You can skip season two of the original arc. A lot of us have fond memories of it, especially people in the States and in Canada, because that that was a big thing to have season two here. And, and you're a kid. And I know people that really love the Cardi and stuff and the, and the, uh, the what is it, the whatever tr- the whatever tree and uh, all that nonsense. But that was just being thrown together while she came up with the rest of the story. And I love the Sailor Starlights. I love Galaxia. I love the way they show that Sailor Moon is, it's, it's always love and acceptance and kindness that wins the day. And that's my issue with Crystal. And like I said, I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on that because Crystal to me comes off cold. Crystal to me comes off like, and I know it's closer to the source material. I know all that and I should reread that so that I'm more up to date on these things before I talk about them. But uh, to me, it felt like, especially when you watch the original anime, you go, it's me and my friends. We got this. And I feel like Crystal is more like, me and my friends got this, but at the end of the day, it's me and Mamaru. Which, that's what it is. It's Romeo and Juliet, star-crossed lovers, yada, yada, yada. Like I said, it's the Dark Tower. It's all that. It transcends time. I get it. I love it. I love Sailor Moon. I'm not knocking it. What I'm saying is, I, I like that me and my friends have this. Me and my friends. And that's, and that's the focal point. And I like that with this, they're showing her alone. And that's a big thing in the final arc. And that's a big thing in Usagi's character development is going... What do I do when nobody's there to help? What do I do when it's just me? That's why she's naked at the end. That's like when people are like, what is this weird shit? It's like, no, she's naked because throughout the series, she gets more and more and more things added to her to her outfit and more things and, and more things with her weapons and, and it gets bigger and bigger and over the top. And then at that final fight, it's just her. It's just her in the nude. It's just her with the wings because it's just her alone and it's just her love to save everybody. And, and and that's what should save us all. And that's why I say Sailor Moon is the hero we all need right now. Go rewatch the original anime. But I'm super excited for this and it looks beautiful. Like I said, visually it looks beautiful, but I don't understand why you didn't even give us a cameo of the Starlights. You're already ma- shoving it all into this uh, and I'm going to make a separate video. I am think right back to back I'm going to make a separate video. Uh, Crystal is cold. Uh, the characters aren't as well developed. They are shells of what they are in the original anime, I feel like. Uh, I feel like the Mamoru and Usagi's relationship is way too much of a focus, but I, if, I, if, I think it's like that in the original. Like I said, if this is closer to the manga and that's what people want, okay, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. But either way, I'm excited to see this, but I just don't, under- I don't understand why you would give us that tiny Galaxia cameo but then not show us even even a, a, the silhouette of the starlights. I don't I don't get that. We can all like stuff and not like stuff, and we can all like characters and not know every little thing about them, but I truly love Sailor Moon, and I'm truly excited for this. I just think they're kind of shafting these characters by shoving them into these movies, especially with... I liked Eternal, but it made sense for that. I was like, oh, this is kind of smart. But with this, I'm like, no, this is pretty extensive... And there's a lot of layers to it. There's more layers to the final arc than there are in the dream, the dream mirror arc to me. And I'm like, and plus I think, uh, well, honestly, I think the Amazon trio is a lot more interesting than the Amazon quartet, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. But I am going to do a separate video talking about more Sailor Moon stuff like right now. But yeah, I'm happy with Motor City Nerds. Make sure to comment, subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. Oh, we're going to keep streaming Kingdom Hearts. I can't believe I figured that out. Uh, that's been a lot of fun. Because, um, yeah, so it's the 20th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. It's the 30th anniversary of Sailor Moon. And I'm pretty sure, is it the 25th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII? It's something like that. There's a bunch of anniversaries this year, so it's really cool. Well, like Jurassic Park turns 25 this year. It's really there's a bunch of stuff coming up, and I'm gonna get on a better schedule, guys. And we're gonna I I gotta talk about Moon Knight today is just gonna be record, 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 crank all this stuff out. That's what we're gonna do. But I am super pumped for this. I just wish we would have gotten a little bit more. But I do get what they were trying to do. They were trying to to show you that Usagi's alone. She's alone, and and it looks beautiful. It, it, this looks visually better than anything else we've gotten from crystal and if this is the other part about it being confusing like i said uh you have this is such a big ip like i know people that watch sailor moon but don't watch any other anime 
You know what I mean? Or same thing with Dragon Ball. They'll watch Goku, but they don't watch other anime. But they love Dragon Ball and they love Dragon Ball Z just as much as anybody else. Like, they're just that big. You know what I mean? get into this more when I record another video that I wasn't planning on doing because I already have two Batman videos. I have one that I recorded already a long time ago, but I don't know how I feel about it. And then I have one all about Detroit Techno because it's Detroit Techno Month. Happy Movement Month, everybody. Let's do this. But you guys hear that? I thought there was going to be a car accident. There still might be. They're squealing. They're squealing. But anyway, leave your crocodiles and your penguins down in the chat. We'll see who wins, Alligator Loki or the Penguin Gang. Um... But I just don't understand why this wasn't handled with more delicate hands. I really don't. Like I said, this is one of the, not just in Japan, not just in the U.S. This is one of the biggest characters of all time worldwide. And so it's like when they dropped the ball with Crystal the first time and the animation looked like shit. It was like, huh? Who? What? What? And then, it, like, why isn't why isn't this being handled with more delicate hands is what I'm trying to say. Because I love it. I'm sure you love it. We all love it. We all love Sailor Moon. And I don't understand it. And if you haven't watched the original anime and you are like, what's all the fuss about? I highly suggest watching just the first season. If you don't want to watch all of it and watch all... And I stand by that, too. I think that the filler episodes are how you get to know these characters so well. And I don't know. Either way. Sailor Moon, Cosmos, I think you're kind of taken away from the starlights by not calling it Sailor Moon Stars, and you're kind of taken away, I don't know, either way, whatever. I was happy that we got to see Galaxia, I think this looks great, I think it looks better than all the rest of them, but yeah, I'm like, who keeps dropping the ball with this? I think, but I, I get what they were trying to say with this, but anyway, I'm Abby Motor City Nerds, I'll keep rambling, I'll just go into another video, okay? How about that?